Okay, uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to this video. This will be a video of me working in Cinema 4D and I'll be showing how I do my artworks. So let's go. Uh, I don't model my assets. I download them from the internet or buy them. Uh, the ones that we'll use in this uh, in this in this video are from uh, from Sketchfab, Sketchfab.com. Uh, you can go there and download yourself some nice models. Uh, you you can also buy models there, but I recommend if you are starting out just download as many free models and buy them when you like start making money because you can like spend a lot of money in 3D just in the beginning and then you will like regret it maybe you, you will find that it's not for you and you just wasted some money so okay uh so i'll i'm thinking of a head flying in the sky between like some palm trees and a head i mean like bust a sculpture and there will be some neon lights some fog it will be like very aesthetic and like fog is something like that it's very trending on instagram right now so if you if you want to build some following it's a great way to start okay so uh let's go to cinema 4d uh if you if you drag your models into cinema 4d you will open them in a new scene so that's why i go to merge and i find my models uh okay first there there are some palms okay okay and it's not it's not textured yet so we'll texture it later it doesn't matter or maybe we should just like put there something you know like just clear this and all yes Okay, so now we can see our models. <clears throat> uh, now we go into Octane. Uh, you need an Octane render. It's you can download a free version on the Otoy.com website, but uh, I recommend buying it because it's like very very useful. And you want to go to Objects Octane Scatter. <clears throat> we move our palms under it. And we actually need to make a landscape. Let's uncheck borders at sea level. Uh, well, the landscape will not be visible, so it doesn't matter that much, but let's make it 5,000 by 5,000. Okay. Okay, this looks fine and let's set the distribution to surface surface landscape and now if we look into our render yes uh, they're kind of screwed up I guess so maybe it's due to Okay, so I think only I already used it, this model, so I think the only one is maybe this one. Yes, this one was the wrong one. So now we have we don't need this much of palms to be honest. <laughs> let's make like 200, 200, and let's use some effector, a uh, random effector, which we can add some randomness. Let's go to Effector and plug it in. And this Effector, we don't need position because it's already scattered. Scale, uniform scale. Let's go like 5, 1.5. Okay, that's, that's too much, 1.2. <coughs> Sorry. Um, maybe just one. You can see there are a lot of... Okay, and the rotation is very important because if they are all rotate and only we gonna rotate on uh, let's try this yes so two 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 <laughs> two hundred twenty four uh, 
this and this on the two. Okay, uh, so this is our trees. Um, let's add the this the statue. But we should wish we should find a place first. So let's put it here and see like. And we also wanna make uh, artwork for Instagram. So let's change this to to fifty no to to. 2000 by 2500 yes okay yes and it's like i think okay so i'm thinking of like this this layer this right here this window this looks kind of good i think but maybe from the other side. Like something like we can actually move with Alt holding Alt and Okay. Okay, this might look fine. Oh, fuck. This might look fine. Uh, let's put camera here. Uh, so objects obtain camera. And okay, let's let's leave it like like this for now. Uh, okay, so merge another object, and this one is head of David. Yes. Okay. Well. It's really small, so we so we'll scale it up, and it's rotated. Okay, so let me let me move this. Sub. Okay, I just rotated it so it does face and let me let me change the axis again. Okay. So here is our David. And it should be it should be I think this is too close. Like it shouldn't be shouldn't be uh that close. Yes, that's very very I need to make uh, Position it like somewhere between those two trees, okay. And now scale it up so it's something like this, okay. Okay, so let's move the camera a bit again. Okay, let's let's enter it like. It will be in the perfect center and let's scale it up again. Okay. And I feel it's it's too close to us. So maybe something like this, or maybe let's make it even bigger. I need to see where it's 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 too close again. Okay, now, now it's, I guess, perfect. It should definitely work for now. Okay, maybe let's make it bigger. I think, like, it's really the main main object of focus, and maybe move it, like, a bit back. A bit bigger. Like, I need to know where this sits. So, it should sit, like, here. Yes, it should be behind the behind the behind these two 
problems and it's it's good i think this is actually great this actually isn't isn't that bad okay it's just let's move ourselves a bit up because i think yes yes now it's okay it's not perfectly in the center okay so now we're gonna make some uh, neon tubes and the way we are going to do that is by drawing a rectangle just somewhere here and uh, let's make it so it face yes <clears throat> okay so basically I don't know where okay it's quite good isn't it a bit rotated? I don't know. It should. Uh, okay, let's move it to the cam under the camera and reset these values. Okay, but like, yes. So now it's perfectly like, yeah. You you can see that it's perfectly aligned with the camera, and if we, if we move the camera, uh, it moves like with us and it's not distorted distorted <laughs> it's not distorted so it's perfect and let's make it i don't know maybe a bit bigger okay and we can also center it i guess yes so now it's in perfect center so we should like place place our character in the center okay okay so let's move a bit up and let's move him okay this is good this is very good bring him a bit forward <coughs> okay this looks great to me uh, let's make a circle somewhere yes circle and let's make a a sweep and put a rectangle and the circle yes and let's make it like i don't know five centimeters maybe yeah maybe four four is enough okay uh now we're gonna lock the camera go to text cinema 4d text protection so we can't move with the camera so we can't fuck up our scene okay let's move this a bit forward it should be behind the palms, so maybe, maybe, go backward, man. Because I really want it to be, like, yes, behind the palms. Okay, this looks really, really good. Uh, maybe I'll might make him a bit bigger again. You see, he collides with some palms, so I should put him forward. Okay, so, so, it would be perfect to remove this, this plant, but I don't know. Okay, uh, fuck, I don't, I don't want this. <clears throat> okay, so we'll, we'll fix it after. Okay, so let's copy it and this rectangle, let's make it like this. Okay, and let's copy these two uh, by pressing uh, control and moving it back. And I don't know if we want to make them. No, no, no. We need to make it like this. You see, and they. They kind of misaligned, so I need to fix that again. I, I'll do it manually, but okay. So this looks perfect, I think. We'll need to fix the palms, but for now, it's it's very good. It's very very good. Okay, so. Uh, thanks you for watching part one of this video and in the 
next part we'll do uh, lightning and lighting and uh, some texturing so stay tuned bye guys and by the way check out my check out my instagram and uh, both of these links are in the description so please go there and give me a follow okay guys bye